from MTN and MontanaSports.com. This is Sunday Night Sports. Hello, everyone. Golf is the name of the season right now. We saw Aaron Ellis and Susan Court run away with women's state am titles yesterday. The men are on tap this week in Great Falls, and those up early this morning saw Irishman Shane Lowry win his first major on home soil at the British Open. But most don't know that a former British Open champ has called Montana home for the last 20 years. Tom Weisskopf won it in 1973, his greatest achievement in a landmark career. But that only tells half his story. We caught up with Weisskopf last month at the Lewistown Charity Classic to talk about the rest. Montana has always called Tom Weisskopf's name. I did a lot of big game hunting early on in my life and I hunted out by Red Lodge in the Pryor Mountains out in that area. I fished uh, the Yellowstone, fly fished and, and uh, the Missouri. So when the longtime PGA Tour star left his playing days to get into golf course design, he couldn't refuse a call from the Treasure State. I came here uh, October of 99. I was invited to look at the property up where the Yellowstone Club exists now and uh, was chosen to do the golf course. Followed that with the golf course at Spanish Peaks, right adjacent to the Yellowstone Club, and then followed that with down in Bozeman uh, at Black Bowl. So I. Montana's been great to me. So great that after Weisskopf designed the Yellowstone Club, he decided to stay. It's where he's called home for the past 20 years, which might seem strange for a golfer considering the season lasts about four months between snow, but he likes that season too. January the 2nd, 2000 was a big day for me. I quit drinking and I've succeeded in that and I learned how to ski. Warren Miller got me started skiing. I got to know him quite often, you know, during the ski season because I was very much into skiing and, and Warren was very helpful picking out certain instructors to help me and little tips. And of course, he was a phenomenal storyteller. That's something the two had in common. Any golfer could listen to Weisskopf talk for days about his time on the tour, his four runner-up finishes at the Masters, part of 11 top four finishes in majors in the 1970s alone, but it never discouraged him as he went on to win 16 times. You can't give up. You know, any sport that you take up, you know, you're there to try your best and you have your good days and you'll have your bad days. I spent a lot of time hitting balls for hours out there and had great help. You don't do it alone. You know, you need help. I had some great instructors and guys that really mentored me and showed me how to get better. After 20 years, Weisskopf traded in his clubs for a drafting table, not knowing if design was for him, but he found out pretty quickly. Oddly enough, that course won the best new private course in the country, and I was off and going, and I, I never went back to playing. It's art on the ground. You just try to make the best you can of that particular site. And for those aspiring designers out there, this is what Weisskopf looks for. Big mature trees, changes of elevation, which you have here, and natural water features as in ponds, lakes, streams, okay, or oceans. <laughs> Montana has plenty of all three, which is what keeps Weisskopf's eye here. As for what keeps the rest of him here? Well, I've always liked the outdoors, you know. I had a big game for about 25 years all over the world, but I'm a bird hunter now. I love to, I love to chase birds behind, behind our dog, you know. I love fly fishing. Always have, always will. I love Montana. It's a popular opinion. Weisskopf has designed 70 courses across the world and has two more in the works in Utah and Boise.